Yo guys, what is going on? I am sorry in advance about this shirt. I understand that you guys are looking at the shirt and being like, whoa, I know it's trippy. I apologize. And also a little bit sorry for the later upload today. I was dealing with some things this morning. Um, as well as the upload schedule, man, we've been double uploading for like 60 plus days. Actually, if you consider the second channel reviews too, because those go up like five days a week. And the streams, it's like, I think it's a lot. So we're going to tone down the uploads just a little bit on the main channel. It'll probably be every day still, and then the occasional or every other day, two uploads a day. It just, it really depends on EA, right? Like, you guys know, you're most likely going to get hit with a menu slash market video every day. If we have rewards days, we'll double upload. If we have, like, crazy packs days or, you know, stuff like that, man, you guys will have the double upload. But um, I think it's getting into this point in FIFA where one upload a day is good. And then if we have something else or if there's something that's going on that I got to let you guys know about... I will double upload that day, but I just got to tell you guys for me and, and with the streaming hours that I'm doing, which is like 140, 150 hours a month, it's a lot to do the double uploads every day, right? Because a lot of the time you got to get them done after you stream, you got to get them done before you stream. It's a big commitment. So I'm not being lazy. I'm, I'm being honest with you guys and telling you guys that I'm just going to upload now kind of when we feel like it, we will have an upload every day. And then uh, plan up, you guys should plan on a morning upload every day. We may get nighttime uploads as well, but plan on a morning one every single day um, and you know what? I'll probably be uploading again tonight, but I'm just telling you guys that for the future that I know a lot of you guys click on the channel every day and you expect an upload every single day and I'm just every, twice every single day, but that may slow down a bit. But anyways, uh, we got off to a fantastic start in foot champions yesterday. We are 15 and 0 at the moment. I've never played 15 games on a Friday. So uh, we'll see if we can finish out elite one. I'm not taking weekend league seriously uh, this month because there's no qualifiers. Um, the qualifiers not the December, which I am qualified for. I'm eligible to play in that. I'm just not going to take it seriously, man. There's no point to take it seriously. This patch has really messed up a lot of the finishing in this game. So I'm just not taking it to the level that I took it last month, which is when we got the 328s um, and, and finished 110 wins for the month. So we got the Red Griezmann on the team for this weekend. Uh, the man's been balling out at Cam. We did buy Neymar back. Very inflated. But, I, you know, Neymar is my, my guy, bro. I got to get this car back in my club. And we're trying out Screaming Senior, who's pretty damn good. I do like him a lot. He's been pretty solid. And then Gold De Young, obviously, instead of Hullet. So... We've downscaled the team a bit, but I'm happy with Insigne, man, because I picked up Insigne at 828, and the dude is 860. What you guys have to understand is that obviously today is Saturday. Screams go out of packs on Sunday, so just we're gonna I'm bringing that up to you guys because it is relevant. Now, um, in terms of the overnights and all that, I want to always share this with you guys. You guys click on these videos because this is my road to glory. You guys watch my progress. You guys watch what I do. So I flipped a Clivert. I bought this at 540, which means that after tax, this is a little bit under 15,000 coins. Um, this is a Makalele. Um, I bought this at 270. So this is not many coins. It's like 5K, maybe 5K. Soul Campbell was bought at 550. So that's a nice 30K. Griezmann was bought at 470. That's a nice profit. Check this out, boys. Late last night when I was going to sleep, Dries Mertens, in form, was listed on the market. There was five at 520. 520, 530. I cleared them all. I went full savage. I just bought them all. Because I was like, I've seen this dude in the last, like, looking at me, 600K. I've seen him sell 600K plus for the longest time, man, the last two days. And I was like, what's going on here? So, especially, it was the weirdest thing ever because it was on a Friday night. But again, this shows you guys, as you can see on the market, there was only like five on the, on the market. It shows you guys how good trading with rare informs is. Because if you factor in that I bought all of these at a max of 525, do the math, right? If I bought these all at 525, the tax is 30K at, at there. Uh, this is about 40 to 50,000 coins a card. So you're looking at overnight profit after tax on Dries Mertens, 150 to 200K. I mean, that's fantastic. For me, that's great. I had to put zero effort into this. All I knew to buy this card was because I knew a price, right? I saw the price and I was confident that, hey, Saturday morning, I was going to have the uh, the influx of people logging on and, and obviously playing with the card, right? It's also rare. Now, this guy, I don't know what's going on with him, but we got out of that as a break even. And then Thorgan Hazard. I wanted to talk to you guys about this card because if you guys do the club stocks with me, um, you guys would have seen this guy was discard at one point, right? Back in ones to watch. Well, he has a goal and an assist right now. And I took the money because his max price range is 50K. Selling him at 40K is great profit, man. That's 30,000 coins profit. I actually packed him. So that's 40k profit because I packed them and then I kept them. I got them from a draft back in the day. And then we got Paulo Dybala. You guys know I bought these at 71 to 72. So that's not much profit. It's like 2 or 3k. And then we have the last of the Frankie de Youngs. And then honestly, I've actually, 
I'm looking into taking some losses. We did the Frankie de Jongs yesterday. Those were pretty good. Um, but I'm looking into taking some losses at the moment. And those losses are going to be on Umtiti, who we bought for rewards. And we were trying to sell at 60, and then they dropped PK. So he's at 40 right now. So I'll just keep riding that out. Cancelo, we're going to have to break even on. And then Akanji's. You guys got to check these out, man. We bought these at 18K in the second week of FIFA. And we still have them. So I'm trying to clear out the transfers a little bit. Be like a little bit more efficient with it. And um, I guess just take some losses where I got to take losses. That's kind of where I'm after. Um, now, as for today, yesterday we didn't get much supply. And so that's why the market went up. A lot of the screens went up last night. And a lot of the meta golds you guys saw went up. And the reason was that for that was that we, did just, we didn't get a ton of supply. right? So when we don't get supply... Obviously, cards go up. Um, something to talk about. I think there's a few talking points about this, you know, today's upload. Uh, first of all, this Mascherano is not a bad card. I would I would not do it, but it's not a bad card. So, to EA on that selection, fair play. Um, so, uh, just a reminder, there's all these SBCs. You guys should look to complete these SBCs before the screen promo ends. The screen promo ends tomorrow. We'll be doing a video rating the screen promo as it ends, and we'll be talking about the highs and the lows of the promo. Something to talk about with this PK is that this expires in two days. And when this does expire, I think you're going to see those La Liga meta center backs go back up. You're going to see the Varans go back up. You're going to see Ramos go back up. You're going to see Lung Le go back up. Umtiti, all these guys that have gotten panic sold like crazy in the last 24 hours, I think you guys will start to see rising again on the market. I don't really see a world uh, in which they don't start rising again. So I would keep your eye out for that. That's something you guys can do. A little bit of a trading thing where where I think that those guys will start to rise when those when those end. You've also got a marquee matchups available. I'm going to make sure that I'm doing these, uh, I think, tomorrow before the screen promo ends. Uh, just so I can get uh, the packs, man, and, and my last kind of chance. Although I did a big pack opening, as you guys know. Yesterday, I did a huge pack opening, man, and I didn't pack anything. So it was kind of it was kind of upsetting, dude. I, I did a big pack opening. We got some walkouts. To be fair, we got some walkouts, but nothing scream, and I really wanted to pack a scream. Now, I'm keeping the high rated because I'm waiting for an SBC. Yesterday, EA released a milestone player, a Politano. I got to take a look at this card. It's a very good card. He's a four-star, four-star, and it's a nice upgrade. This is a substantial upgrade from the, the bottom one. It says, complete this set to un earn untradeable rewards, and finally, EA is using the milestones tab. Thank God. It's taken them a month, but hold on to the group reward for an additional upgrade opportunity. So what I'm hoping is that the additional upgrade opportunity... Um, is gameplay based. I'm hoping it's not like the icon moments last year. If you guys played FIFA last year, you would have known that basically what EA did with prime icons was they said, hey, you want to you want to complete that prime icon SBC? You want it the moments card? You're going to have to put it in a moments SBC. So I'm I'm hoping that EA doesn't do it this year like that because that would just be tough. I would really not want to see it that way. Um, that would be really annoying if EA ends up doing it like that. So hopefully they don't. But you have to go through and you have to score a goal in three separate matches in rivals, which is tough, but you do not need wins, which is good. So the way I would do it is I'm going to probably start to work on this this week a little bit. Um, I know that I say that all the time, but in rivals, if you don't have to win, I don't really mind. And I'll probably do this where I'll probably have like three to four players at a time that I do this with. Not like, well, how you guys can do this. When I initially saw this, I was looking at it and I was like, wait a second. We got to do this. It's going to take me 60 games to do this, right? Maybe even more because you got to score the goal. But then I realized that you could do like multiple clubs at the same time. So like you could do Dries Mertens at striker. You could do uh, Papu Gomez at cam. And you could do like um, Lukaku at left striker or like right striker, right? And then you got three players and you could try to score with all of them, right? And that's like something that is interesting. And then once you get the goals done, like say I get, say I get, say in the three games I play, I get three with Gomez and then two with Lukaku and only one with Mertens, right? I keep Mertens and Lukaku in the team. I rotate Gomez, right? Like you do a constant rotation. So could be something you do. I will probably like low key go for this. I probably won't go that hard. But if it turns out that I am close, like I have 10 out of 20, then I'll go ahead and do it. It's not a player that I actually love because like I'm going to be using Leo Messi. But again, it's not a bad card. And what I do hope is that EA ends up giving him a dynamic image. That would be sick um, if they do give him a dynamic. But this concept is really good because this concept is going to make you have to grind something over time, which I think is like a really important concept. Um, okay, big thing I want to talk about today. Uh, big, big thing. This is like the big thing. So, Screams go out of packs tomorrow, as you guys can see on the main menu. Uh, it screams 100% go out of packs tomorrow. All Screams players are now available in packs for one day and blank hours. So, all Screams right now are in packs, every single one of them. And obviously, they're going to go out of packs. And these right now are the only real promo cards that we have. One's watches don't really count. So, in my opinion, these cards are all going to rise a lot. So, we got to figure out when we're buying these. And that depends on the supply today. You might have a perfect storm today where you have a weekend league sell-off coming in. And you also have a pack supply coming in. And that would be like beautiful. If EA ends up doing something like that today, that for me makes the perfect storm of investing. 
Now, at the moment, guys, I have 5.7 mil liquid, and then I have on my trends list, if you were to add it up, um, I had a very good week. 6.1, let's say here. 6.6, .6, let's say 7. Let's put all these guys right here. Let's say that this is roughly 7.5. Add this page. That's about 8 on my transfer list, right? Let's just say 8. Um, and then if you look at my team, we've got Insigne, which is like 800. So Insigne is going to make it like 8, 880, not 890. Neymar will make it about 10 mil. And then you throw the rest of the team, it's about 10.5, right? Give or take. 10.5. And then if you look into my club, and this is not a flex, right? This is to get you, I want you guys to understand percentages. You look at the rest of my club. I've got tradable Busquets. I've probably got 12 to 13 mil if I sold everything, right? Everything in my club. If I got rid of everything, I had a really good week, man. And that's why I told you guys I wanted to sell my team so I could get coins to trade. And you guys saw it all. I showed you guys everything I did this week, right? We're up to 20.5. When I sold my team last Sunday, I had 10.3. You can watch the upload. So we've killed it this week. I bet it shows it on the weekly. Uh, the weekly for us, 7 mil, but I don't even know if that updates. The monthly, 16 mil on monthly, right? 16 mil. So we're killing it, right? We're doing really well. But I want to invest a percentage of my coins into these screams. And I don't want to invest it that long. What I want to do is I want to pick up these screams today. I want to sell them tomorrow or Monday for some profit. And then I want to reinvest in them for rewards because I'm all about efficiency. This year is about trading for me. It's not about holding investments that long. So what I want to do is I want to reinvest. Um, I want to sell them when they're high if people are buying them the day or two out of packs. And then I want to reinvest in them on Tuesday or Wednesday for weekly rewards because these cards are going to fly with weekly rewards. Last week... I made a killing, man. I bought Carvalho's at like 50. I sold them at 61. Uh, my my rewards investing last week went so well with these cards. So I think it's going to be a really good way to go. So obviously, guys, it makes for some potential investing. So who do I like from the Scream team? Well, it's interesting because the newer Scream team is actually up a little bit um, compared to some other teams. But I think what you have to look at is like, who do you think is like really in demand? I got a few players that I really like. I think I really like Dimitri Payet. Um, I like Trippier, but I think Trippier is like a little hindered by Semedo. I think everybody's using Semedo. St. Juste interests me. I think if you guys are on a low budget, Medal, Medell and Laxalt are really interesting. I do think if you have a high budget, Insigne is going to hit a mil. Just based off the price of Dries Mertens is in form. Um, and I've used this Insigne in game and he's very, very solid. Just off the price of this Dries Mertens right now, right? On the market, this guy's 620k. Like, that's Infor Mertens, and the other one is a newer card that looks really pretty. I think a lot of people go for it. I'm a fan of Tony Cruz, but really what I like is I like the first screen team. A lot of these guys in the first screen team are really starting to go down today, and I think with a pack supply today that these guys could get ruined. I really do. I think that they could, like, really struggle today. If we get a lot of supply, these cards are going to die. And you guys got to understand on rewards day, Bernard hit, like, 210, 220, and he was, like, before all this like really high so he's starting to go down a bit i think i think Mendy, you can't go wrong especially with pk expiring in a few days Mendy's not one that you could go bad with and then you've got your low budget guys romagnoli guerrero carvalho these guys are all important as well i think these guys are ones to look out for so i think screams are going to be good pickups I, what you guys could do in my opinion to make some coins on these screams with supplier with not supply today all of you guys who don't have a lot of coins and i'm, I'm not saying that's a bad thing you guys can choose in my opinion to invest in a very, very like safe way. And how you can do it is you guys can club stock the cheaper ones. So you guys could invest like maybe 300,000 coins into the lower tier screams and just put them in your clubs and kind of see how that investment goes. That's not a bad that's not a bad look for you guys, man. Just putting in one or two in your clubs and just kind of seeing how that goes. And then if you want, you guys can obviously sell them uh, for the weekending rewards next week. That's not a bad concept to do. Also today, you may have another investing opportunity with this team of the week. Team of the week today has a real chance to go down. It's not a great team of the week, right? I know that. It's not an amazing team of the week, but today could be cheapest for a lot of these guys. Fabinho. Um, all right. Uh, who am I kidding? This team of the week sucks. So you're not really investing in team of the week. But yeah, man, I just want to touch upon that. And I'm probably just going to continue trading the icons and the, and the specials that I trade as I show you guys. And another thing is that I probably will put 2 to 2.5 mil into screams, maybe 3. I'm not going to go my whole budget into them because I want to leave some coins to trade, but I'll probably go a little bit. So as you guys know, that would leave me with like four to five mil to trade. So I'll put half my trade pile value in it. And then with my team, I'm not really sure. I think I'm going to get lucky with my team where I think I may keep Neymar just to like, cause I'm always going to use them every weekend, but I think I may sell Insigne because I think Insigne is going to rise a lot, uh, in the next like few days. So I think I might be able to get like 900, 950 for Insigne. When we make some coins to him. We don't lose coins, which is more important. De Jong, all these golds you guys see in my team, I'm just going to have to kind of take the L on. And this is kind of like what I say about the golds in my team. They're always going to become untradeable. The second you start playing a lot of weekend league, the golds in your squad are going to become untradeable because golds decline in value over time, except 
if they are like Neymar, if they are like those top, top ones. Those kind of golds always seem to do well, but most golds in general kind of just decline a little bit over time. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the upload. Appreciate all of you, and I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.